My name's Shaquan, but a lot of people know me by my other name, Mad Skills. I'm an MC. My name is Mad Skills. Now it's next to me. I'm a DJ. Oh, yeah. I'm a ghostwriter for some of your favorite rappers. I'm not about to tell you who, though. Oh. But most importantly, I'm a hip hop enthusiast. Hip hop confessions is raw, unfiltered conversations with my friends revealing things that they didn't like, never knew about, I don't know, or never got into about hip hop culture. So sit back. Oh, come on, y'all. Turn up the volume. Hip hop. And listen to hip hop confessions. Because everybody's got one. Here's a little story that must be told. And it goes a little something like this. this, this, this. Yo, yo, what's up, world? It's your boy, Mad Skills, and we are back. This is Hip Hop Confessions. You already know what it is, man. Putting it down and, and letting y'all know, you know, some, some things in the industry and in the hip hop game that you might not know known about. I like to bring my friends on, uh, my industry associates, MCs, DJs, rappers, video directors, writers, all of that. But right now, man, I got, I got one, of my, one of my favorite guys, man. I've known this guy since the early 90s. Man, this this man is a, an extraordinary producer, uh, talent finder, jump drum trop chopper, sample creator. I learned so much from just sitting in the studio and watching this man to, for the you know the couple of the two hot beats that I made in in my twenty five year yeah. beat making. <laughs> they they were strictly because I watched this guy in the studio. Man, one of my favorite people in the world. Man, just saw him this weekend, but we are gonna get into all of that. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for my brother, the Large Professor. Yes, sir. Skills in the building. We here. My G, what's good? Absolutely. What's going on, brother? Word. Good oh, to see you, man. man good it's to see always you. good to see you, man. Yeah. It's been a minute, bro. Word up. Word up. Definitely. But but you know, I I, I just saw you this weekend at, at the beat battle. Yeah. Um. In, in Charlotte. Shout out to you know. Yeah. G Brown. G Brown definitely. Just, and and just Blaze and you know, yeah, everybody Jake was in the one, building. Yeah. Everybody Jake was one, out Poo, there. Knife, Knife Wonder. Yeah. Crisis. Yeah. You know I mean. Yeah, Soundtrack. That was nice. So. You know, I had saw you maybe a couple a couple years back. I ran into you in L.A. one time. You DJed at this this spot called the Scowling, like Korea. Town. Absolutely, yeah. And I, that I pulled was cool. up on you, and that was the first time I saw you in a while. Up. Man, Shout we, out OG Chino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got so many memories together, man. Of, yeah. of just hanging so, out, man. Yeah, <laughs> just, just hanging, hanging out. out. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, yo. Word up, yo, man. So, um. You know, for me, man, when I when I think about moving, when I when I got the record deal with with, with Big Beat Atlantic, Reef, Shout Reef, you know what I'm saying? Um, who signed me? And I think about moving to New York, and I had been running around with Tip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tip had, me and Tip had met at Jack the Rapper, and okay. um, and I remember sitting down with Reef, and he was like, "Yo, so who you want on this album?" And I. Your name was the first name, bro. Yeah, oh like, man, and, appreciate that. And word. he 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 checked it off the list. I said, "Yo, I need Large Professor. I need it's... Buck. I need Buck Wild. Yeah, you know what I mean. I need Clark Kent because you know he he had already did my demos. Yeah, and, on the love. So now that we got a budget, we got it. We got to take care of Clark. Right. But, but your name was first, man. So. Oh man, appreciate it. We made two bangers, man. Them bangers. Man, listen. That, that was bangers right there. Listen. Word, yo, skills in '95. Yeah. And extra abstract skills. Yeah. Uh, and I remember, I remember hearing the beat for Skills in '95. Um, cause I didn't, I don't, I didn't, I, I, I knew you had later on. I knew OC had rapped over it over on a uh, stretching Barbito one night, but I never right. heard that tape. So when you when you played it, I was just like I was like, yo, this bass is booming, these kicks is yeah. these kicks is right, man. Like, and and to to watch you work, man. Like, and I always tell people they be like, you know, um, you know, damn, because you had you know you know you had Dilla on the first album, you yeah, had Large Pro yeah. Buck Wild, like, damn, what was that experience like? And I was like, man, listen, I spent more money on studio time with the large professor <laughs> than anybody. And I know, they, people always tell me that. Yeah, like Reef, <laughs> Reef told me that too. Like, yeah, it was a lot going on. Yeah, I was like, cause sure. Paul would just, Paul would just yeah. come to the studio with records. Like that was mm -hmm. his thing. Like P would just come in there with records and, and just listen. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, like I just got a fresh batch. Mm -hmm. I, ain't, I ain't really had time to go through them, but it might be some gold on here. So let's go through these first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's, I remember that's how we came up with the the horn, the horn on, um, 
on skills in 95. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, man, yeah. like, how you been, man? You been good? Good, man. Yeah, definitely, man. You know, just out, out and about, man. Just always, always circulating some way, somehow. Yeah. Or definitely, man. Yeah, it's like, you know, what do you remember from those times? Like, because, I mean, you know, I was just a young little scrappy kid from Virginia, dreadlocks, trying to, you know, trying to trying to make my name in, in the hip hop industry being fresh in New York. What you remember from those times? Did, when when Reef Con I remember I remember Reef did Reef contact you first and yeah. say I got somebody I want you to work with how, how I don't I don't know what happened between you and Reef. So how'd that go? Yeah nah Reef me and Reef was mad cool from before anyway. So you know he was already like yo whatever I'm rocking with, you know I want you to be a part of. So definitely like that that made all the sense in the world. I remember y'all came through the flushing. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Sat down for a second. We was in there chilling. Definitely, yeah. man. That was a cool little meet up real quick. Then boom. And, and, we just and yeah, yeah, once hit we the lab. met. Yeah, once we met, um, because I remember getting on the train with Reef and he was like, I said, where we going? He was on, he's like, we going to flushing. Right. And I was like, I was like, flushing. What's like, that? Yeah, where, where I was is like, that? where's that at? I knew Harlem, I knew Brooklyn. I was like, flushing. He ain't never yeah. say Queens. He just said flushing. Yeah. So I remember we was on a train and we we went all the way to the last stop. Absolutely. Absolutely. The last stop when we yeah. get to your spot. And I'm like, oh shit, we in Queens. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. and in my mind, you know, I had never been that far in the Queens. You know what right. I'm saying? So, you know, from 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 just you know, knowing your background and just, you know, I already had like Nas in my mind and, and the main source and the, the references and the things you did, you know, even, you know, even when you said, I remember getting off the train and the first thing that popped in my head was um, we was walking to your spot and um the first thing that popped in my head was, um we all know Roger, 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 Roger came Queens, from Queens, right. yeah, like, right. so I was like, damn, it, it's real, you know what I mean? Right, like, it's, right. It's, it's real, so we got to your spot and, um, yeah, we we did the meet up, the initial meet up. We vibed. Right. You played me a couple things, and you was like, "Yo, let's hit the studio." Like, like Reef right. set it up. Reef, I'm there. Right. A and we got two classics out of that, man. Absolutely, man. Yo, it was so crazy when we just hit the stage that other night, and that beat came on because somebody somebody had reached out to me. They said, "Nah, this is not the first time y'all did it. Y'all did it at Central Park." And then I remember, right for yes. the Barbito for stretching Bob. Yes. But. I don't know why, but when when they played that joint that night on on that stage through them through that system, man, that that, that um skills, it, I mean the um yeah man, extra, yo, it, dogs, it felt man. like the first time. Oh my god, man, yo dogs, man, I was like yo, cause just to feel the beat, you know, when you're on stage and you feel the the, the bass of the kick and the snap of the snare, man, I was like yo, it's a beautiful thing, definitely. Yeah, man, it, yeah. it's. I forgot about um, you know, the Central Stage zone. We did Stretch and Barbito. Yeah, but, Central Park, definitely, yeah. But it, it was the other night was was just special because Just Blaze called the play. Like Yeah. And I was just like the I first yo, thing, that was that was last second too. It was like, yo, we just boom. And I and, was and, like, he was like, yo, y'all gotta do that John Skills. And I'm like, yo, first of all, I don't remember I don't remember my shit. I remember P shit. I remember Q tip shit. Yeah. I don't even remember my shit. Yeah. Be like, nah, son, you gotta come on, son, you gotta do that jump. Yeah. And um, yeah, man, I I remember, you know, when when Just got there and, and we couldn't find the record, and I, I found it in my Dropbox. And uh, cause I keep I keep songs, got you know, to, I keep, got keep you. songs in the That's Dropbox. That's like my man Craig case. G. Craig G stay like stay yeah. equipped. Yeah. You, for them sure. joints gotta be accessible. As long as yeah. it's Wi-Fi, yeah, it's yeah, gotta yeah, be accessible. For sure, no doubt. So when it when it dropped, man, it it was such a classic hip hop moment. You know what I'm saying? And uh I'm just grateful, man, to be able to say that, you know, we even work together. Yo, me saying? too, man. Me too. Cause then from there, man, you just start shining crazy. I was like, that's my boy Skills right there. Like, oh shit. And he doing it at home. Like, he doing it at home now and shit. <laughs> like, yo, he put in the, yo, it's good, you know, cause you went and you went to the Mecca and you you saw what that life was about and, and put it down in the Mecca. And then it was like all praise dude. Like, you know, and then, oh man, that, that was a beautiful thing right there for sure. Yeah, man. Yeah. To, to, to come back to Virginia. Yeah. You know, and and having been, you know, work with, 
you know, the likes of you and Tip and, and JD, you know what I'm saying, who, who wasn't even Dilla yet. You know what I mean? And right. Buck Wild and Clark Kent. It, it was almost like I was crowned by so the many. The Beat Nuts. Yeah, the Beat yeah, Nuts. Yeah, the Beat Nuts. You know what I'm saying? That's like crazy. Rock Raider, rest in yeah, peace. Yeah, Rock you know Raider. Saying? So to, to be crowned and to be rocked with, you know, by so many different hip hop elites, you know, it it changed, it, it literally changed my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. you know what I'm saying? So I'm forever grateful for those times, man. And um, yeah. You know the times we had. Me and too, I, man. Me too, definitely. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to think back if I can remember anything about uh, extra abstract skills, like. And how that we session, I know we were in unique. I know we were in unique. Yeah, with with uh with Troy Hightower. Troy, Troy Hightower. Yeah. Because that, but see that that's what I'm talking about. That's the thing that when I was on the stage and I, you know, because I ain't really listened to that song in so long, so. To right. hear it actually on stage too, you know how your songs hit on stage. But when I heard it, I was like, for one second, I was like, Troy, like, yo, Troy, <laughs> yeah. man, Troy. Yeah. Whoa. He had, he had, he had, he had the smacking, right. smacking, both of them. Yeah, for sure. And that, you know, that song, man, like, I, uh, it, you know, you come in so fucking, yeah, like, your yeah, first yeah, two yeah. bars just, are so yeah, yeah. nutty, like, it came out yeah, of nowhere, yeah. like, a, a lot of niggas in this rap world come out, come out dumb, dumb out. out. Me, I, I bring, bring the, the bass line and drum out. out. Yeah, that's, like, yeah, that's crazy. It, it's that's such, crazy. you know, it was such a good, good feeling, man, and, you know, I remember being in the studio, you know what I'm saying, and working on that with you, and it, it, it was just a special time in my life, because I lived right, you know, Unique was on, like, 47th, and I right. lived on 49th. So nice. I'm two, I'm two nice. blocks from the studio. Yeah, yeah, so hop, I, skip. I was, I, yeah, I was never yeah. late. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I walk walk past quad every day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. those times was was special, man. Like just just a good just that was just such a good hip hop memory, man. Absolutely. Yeah, and I, I I'm forever grateful to you for those two songs and just taking Yo, the risk, man. taking a risk on a little snot. Yo, kid nah, but you but you 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 had it though. You still got it, like there. There was um, you know, at the end, like you was you was like mad skills about the blast off. Like it it was it was it was like the slang kind of thing that you was doing was like it was some original, like, but it was just from a different region, but it was respectable. And that's what I what I heard when I would hear how you was rocking, I was like, nah, this is respect right here. Cause you know, that's one of my regrets is like, you know, just being a New York dude, like and especially coming up from like the rock steady era mm -hmm. and things like that, like it was crucial. Like the rules were crucial. So like the 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 acceptance and and all of that kind of stuff was it was just crazy. So now when it turned into music, being that same dude from New York and you can't bite and right. you can't do this and you know you got to do it like that way, you know. That acceptance was a big part. Like it was like a, the beginning of my acceptance to the, you know, the other regions and just where right. everybody got something to say. Definitely, man. Right. Uh, but I heard it though. I heard it. I was like, <laughs> nah, he's slick. Or he's slick. He, he said some slick shit. And yeah. I and I knew, you know, coming in, like I knew that I was heavily East Coast influenced. And a lot Absolutely. of people, yeah, might, to begin with, yeah, yeah, a lot of people might think that I was from New York, but I wasn't. So you know, what I'm saying, I I, I kind of played off that with the whole from where and. You know what I'm saying, and, and some of the punchlines and shit I was saying, some of my verses. Now you know, talking shit on my on my MC shit, but still being respectful of the pioneers and the people that came before me. You know what I'm saying? So absolutely, and, and man. being a fan. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm I'm in New York running around with Q-Tip, and a yeah. year later I was listening to Low End. You know what Word, I mean? I mean, yeah. a year earlier I was I right. was banging Low End like everybody right. else. So right to even be in those rooms, man, was was super yeah. special, man. Like. So, you know, when I think about like your your discography and the things that you've done, you know what I'm saying, from from main source to to your solo stuff to to you know introducing the world to Nas, you know what I'm saying, Akinelli, so many dope MCs, like you know what I'm saying that came. I always tell people like I even told Nori, you know what I'm saying, like Queens is like the, that borough birth more the best rappers than any other borough. <laughs> like, 
You know what I mean? Like, and it's no disrespect to Brooklyn Hall. I know y'all got Biggie. I know y'all got Hove. I know Uptown got Cam. You know what I'm saying? Staten Island got Woo. But it's more dope niggas out of Queens than anywhere else in fucking New York City. You, Onyx, Run DMC, LL, Nas, Mob Deep, Tribe. Like, the list go kid and play. Like, the list goes on and on. Like, what is it about Queens, man, that birth that that made y'all birth so many dope, dope rappers? We took the hit, man. They, they, <laughs> we took the hit, man. Yo, we took a big hit, man. They, they you know, they, they, they shot out Queens early in the game, and they was like, Queens, what? Queens, who? You know, it's just like Staten Island, like Shaolin. You know mm-hmm. how that effort came out, cause it, you was never. That's what I'm saying. That's. That's that like that concentrated New York shit though. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's like that's a real concentrated thing right there. It's like, man, like dudes from Queens took the hit, man. And after that, it was just everybody just start take, you know, like getting nice and getting busy, man. Cause um, you know, that time in, in the game where like KRS one was killing Queens, it was like <laughs> dudes was like, yo, dogs, he man. He was on y'all head. Yeah, heavy. crazy. Like, and, and you know, yo, we had ill beat makers, just ill rappers, everybody. Like, the, the legacy is strong. So it was just that time, like, to show and prove once again. Like, even in the jazz era, like, Queens always, like, I got that pride. Like, the Queens, like, yo, I like, the jazz musicians, all of that. So there's that's the legacy. Like that's that's our legacy. Like the music shit, definitely. It's like when you think about, you know, the the, the people that 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 popped off or was popping around the time that the bridges over happened. You know what I'm saying? Of course you had Shan. Of course yeah. you had the Juice Crew. You had yeah. K, you had Cool Cool G Rap. G Rap. He 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 knew not to say nothing about G Rap because that would have been that would have been different. Yeah, G Rap was off. He was. I, yeah. I don't know why too. I, I don't know why. And there was one little piece in one of the songs where they kind of like did some funny kind of thing and retort to like the Bronx, but nah, yo, they they ain't mess with G Rap. Like nah, yo, it's like yeah, he yeah. him and Shan had their thing, and you know, of course, you got Marley, you got Shan. Right. Shantae came a little later. Juice, like I said, Juice Crew, Craig G. You know what I'm saying? Um, but but shit, man, like everybody that came after that that started rising to prominence after the, the British young Zone. world after tragedy. After yes, trash. Yeah, Tejulin Hood a little like, trash. Like, like um Craig G. Craig G kind of was always there, but then when trash hit, yeah, it was like Man, All listen, right, cool. bro, I, yeah. I still listen to I still listen to Grand Groove like that shit came out yesterday. Yeah, it's you know good vibe, man. Just yeah. all that, all that time was a good vibe. We was bringing good vibes too, man. Definitely. Yeah, man. and it was Musically. good. It was messages in the music. Yeah, I, always, yeah. I learned from trash. <laughs> Even though I heard the street shit, yeah, I knew how rough up. it was, yeah. but I learned from trash. Yeah, straight up. So, so then it's like the bridges over happens, and motherfuckers is fed up. Like, nah, niggas not about to talk about my borough like that. Fuck yeah, that shit. And yeah. then it just Nas, Run DMC, yeah, like LL, no. fuck Salt and Pepper, Herbie yeah. Love, uh, Kid. It just yeah. Kept I mean, it was going. before and after, but yeah. now it was and now it was like more so. Like it was like nah, man. We so I don't know. Dudes just start coming out of each area too, man. It was like QB, you know. Yeah, corona, left, like left, left rack, rack. Yeah. corona, beat nuts. Like. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. It was, Damn. It was, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and, and Queens never looked back since. And I, you know, I stand on that. I say it to this day. Yeah. Listen, when it comes to rappers from New York City. The Q Burrow, yeah. Q, Q Burrow is, yeah. is hands down yeah, yeah, the number yeah, one. Yeah. Ain't, it, yeah. ain't, it ain't been that many successful yeah. rappers from one borough. Yeah. yeah now, nah, but nah. then you see, but then like I said, then you see like all right, Queens when they when they be in the party and they be like, "Yo, it's Brooklyn in the house." You hear the roar, you hear you know uptown, all that. You hear the, right. You know, it start getting quiet when they get to Queens, and then especially if there was ever a time when they said Staten Island. So then right. you see what you seen what happened with Staten Island. It was like right. a crazy movement came out of there. Like you know, it, it was out of adversity. Like it was like. 
them, them overshadowed yeah. towns. Being just, overlooked. Yeah. Yeah, being for so long, no I, I know exactly what that's like. Like straight up, you know what yo, I'm saying? Like straight I don't, up. you know, I don't come from a place where it was a lot of rappers. You know what I'm saying? Right. For me, so it was like we almost had a chip on our shoulder. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, yeah, you know I mean, like that's just crazy, man. Like Queens is definitely the best borough, man, when it comes to that rap shit. You know, I I came up on Run DMC and all of that. Absolutely, shit, so. before and after, it was yeah. like yo, crazy. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, so, so listen. Um, like I said, when I talked about your 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 discography and um the things that you did as far as production wise, your solo stuff, you know what I'm saying, which is some of my favorite. I mean, all of it really was your solo shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you was doing all of the beats. You know what I mean? Even back in the day on on the main source stuff and things like that. Um, and then Nas, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you introduced us to to the God MC who who still. It is out here, you know, doing this thing and and, Absolutely. and, all, and always repped hip hop right. Like Nas Absolutely. never had us out here looking crazy. Yeah, nah, he nah, he he's from the hub, you know what I mean? Like the the projects, Queensbridge, like that's that's like hip hop. That's that's where hip hop was born, for real. Yeah, he, he always repped hip hop right. And um, you know, it, it was always a a a um a disclaimer of, you know, the things that you had done and what you had really done and what you hadn't. And and people was like, no, 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 P did that. And we're like, no, 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 so and so did that. But and it was like I, I I will always hear all of that stuff later. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like um like the Eric B and Rakim stuff. Um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? What what was it like was it don't sweat the technique, I believe? Because there's a couple um, of things you ain't get you didn't get your proper credit for, but you yeah. was behind the you was behind those. Yeah, it was it was the um Let the Rhythm Hit Him album. Yeah. It's the Let yeah. the Rhythm Hit Him album. <laughs> You man. know, with ghetto, ghetto, and all of that, like, yeah, where it started, yeah, the, definitely. And ghetto, ghetto is one of my favorite, yeah. favorite songs, man. Like, yeah, and um, you know, a, a, a lot of people don't know about uh, a unsung guy who 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 was in your corner and kind of helped you out early on in your career, named Paul C, who you know we lost absolutely you know what I'm before before he was able to to rise to prominence, but he had he was doing Super Love C and. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Casanova Rudd and shit. Like what 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 kind of what kind of person was he? Like what was he like as a producer? Cause I know you learned a couple of swings, a couple of things from him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, man. Paul was cool, man. He was like a, you know, well, a white boy, you know what I'm saying? White dude, man. Funky like, though. Just funky, funky. L, like hip hop, you know, raised, raised hip hop, like in Jamaica, Queens. Like, you know, so. The only thing was just that it was like, all right, cool. This, is, but technologically keen, like always getting busy, like technologically advanced too. Like with the early record, oh my god, man, that dude was like just out of this world, and and an engineer. So it was like a producer mm. and an engineer. So it was just like best of both worlds. Incre yeah, incredible man, incredible talent, man. Yeah, he was taken away, man, early, and um. Man, God bless Paul all the time, definitely. Word. Yeah, man, you know, he he um, you know, he he was you could definitely hear his influence later on and yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, people yeah, that yeah, was yeah. like, you know, when yeah, it came down to him. like when it came down to chopping up James Brown shit and just knowing <sighs> exactly what to rap over, he was a he was a monster. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? For sure, like, for um, sure, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, all that ultra magnetic stuff and all yeah. that. Yeah, for sure. Ultra yeah. magnetic magnetic MCs, yeah. Did he Crazy. did he do uh uh well, I think it was funky where they they well, was it funky where they did the the California Love beat. Oh yeah 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 yeah. The, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah I bought yeah. a band. Sam, Sam is, is on, on trombone. trombone. Yeah 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 yeah. Blowing yeah. Hard, like yo, that yeah, shit. That's crazy, right? Crazy with yeah. substitution. Yeah. 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 It, it's 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 funny to me, man. To you know that you've been making music so long and you you you've been keen to so many different records. You know what I'm saying? Some of them you sample, some of them other people got to before you, you know what I'm saying? But some of you you've made you've made into whole other pieces, you know what I'm saying? Like um so when you when you when you go digging and when you go listening like what what are you listening for? Like what what stands out to you? What what makes it to get stretched out in the in the SP or the or the 950? Like, uh, no doubt. What yeah, are you nah, listening for? Yeah, nah, you just you you Especially with vinyl, you you hear it, you see it, you know, you say, I, right, you know, you kind of read it. Like with sampling vinyl, 
seat a year, maybe a producer, you know, mm-hmm. maybe a label, quality of the vinyl, all kind. Then you take it back, you listen to it, you know, you you start hearing things and, and you like, yo. And it's just this this hip hop instinct that happens where it's like, you I could be listening to a country record. I could be listening to an Italian, like some crazy kind of record and just hear like a moment where it's like, oh, that that's 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 some ill shit right there. Like that's some hip hop ill, like it could be a one ball loop or, or whatever. And mm-hmm. it I you I can't even describe what it is, man, but like you just hear it and it's like that shit is ill. Like, you know, like and that that's a that's I don't know where what it is, but when you able to have that, that's that's a big thing. Like, nah, this is hip hop, and you didn't took this country record, or you didn't took this other record, and like people is like, yeah, nah, we fucking with that. Like, that's like, created it's, it's crazy. Totally yeah, different. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, that's that gatekeeper, like kind of mm-hmm. sound, you know, cultivator. Like, you know, I don't, I don't know. Like all, yeah. all of them, all of them terms. Yeah. Like I, I always tell terms. people that you know, hip hop is. The, the one music that you know it it was created it, it was it was able to be created from every other genre that came before absolutely oh you know what man I'm saying? That's so, so it's crazy, like it, it, you right? can take a yeah. stab a hit yeah. a horn or a kick a snare a, a yeah. bass note you know what i'm saying and come up with your own shit cuz you know we wasn't playing instruments like that yeah you know like yeah. and and so i i know early on you know when you was doing beats um, which you've always done. I know you you was heavy on the SP, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and the and the 950. Yeah. Um, actually, I think I think I I remember when I bought my SP at Rock and Soul, mm. and I came to the studio, uh, and uh, and I, I had you sign it. Oh it, wow! But my shit, it's like I still got it in storage, but the shit like fade, it's starting to fade. Okay. So I got, I got to, I should have took it to Charlotte when, when I wasn't even yeah, thinking. Get to, yeah, I got to yeah, yeah. get the refresh yeah, signature. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so no in doubt. twenty in twenty twenty two, like what what software are you using now? Do you still use the same stuff you used then, or are you are you, have you elevated to using Logic or Pro Tools? Or, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, I rock with Pro Tools. Uh, I like to the process of like making beats, like how the SP twelve hundred was. So mm-hmm. today, I, I I use the 1000 a lot, the MPC mm. 1000. It, it got the feel, it has the same feel as the SP 1200, but a lot more capability. So I'm staying in that zone, but I'm just a, a little stepped up, like a notch stepped up, staying at analog. So, but everything else, like all them SP4s and all of that crazy stuff, like the Rollins and all of that, like I, I have, and I rock with all of those. I got the MPC lives and all of that, you know, all, right. all of that stuff. But my preference is the MPC one thousand. Dope. Definitely. Yeah, I know. I yeah. got a homie. I got a homie that uh, he he swear by that joint too. Like, yeah. And he said yeah. the same thing is the swing is there. Yeah. It still give you the punch. Yeah. That, that, and then that I'm SP a, had. Yeah, me being an SP dude, like, is like that shit was brolic. You know what I'm saying? That shit right. was brolic, yo. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yo, and I used to be on the train with that shit, man. Going to wow. sessions. With the whole shit. With the with the big, they had the soft case. I have the soft case with a with a crate of records and the big ass. So when they started making the MPCs a little bit more compact, and they did that with that 1000, like that was it for me. I was good. I was like, yeah, that's right. right I ain't right got to drag this shit around. I, absolutely. Definitely. So I'll, I'll stick with that. I'm good. And and it, it was so crazy because, you know, it didn't have no time in it. Like you really right, had yeah. To, the SP twelve, yeah. You had to be a wizard. You had to, to be a some, wizard. You got to exactly. speed yeah. this shit all the way yeah. up just to get the snare yeah. to sound the way that it sound when it's regular. Yeah, yeah. That the shit was a science was in itself. Yeah, I had to. Man, I was. Man, they had to tear like. After a while, I was like, man, I gotta, I gotta put this shit to the side because it was like becoming too limited, man. I started right. seeing like dudes like Just Blazing them, you know, they moving with technology, and I'm like, I'm sitting here like, even with RZA, even as like with RZA, I was like, damn, like they was like, yo, he using this ASR ten keyboard shit, man, like, yeah. yo, you gotta yeah. check that shit out, P. You know, I was still SP to the, you know, right SP, to the SP, 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 like. 
And I, once I got my hands on the ASR, I was like, oh, man. Like the and, game if, changed. Yeah, and from there on, like, I stayed, like, in in the, like, the all the technological, like, all the B&H, Sam Ash, all them stores, just like, yo, what, what's going on in here? Like, What's the from new, what's the yeah, new hoopy Yeah, exactly, because that that was crazy, dude. Yeah, that you know? ASR was, was 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 different, man. I seen mm-hmm. two the two people that I seen make that joint do some uh some, some <laughs> ridiculous the things was Timberland the King. And, and Knots. The Kings. I seen Knots and Timberland make that thing. Yeah. And I, I just be blown away. That's a VA machine right there. The Kings. <laughs> I think the everybody Kings. had an ASR. To do. Yeah. I still got the one they made before that, the EPS. Yeah, the EPS, EPS 16 joint. Yeah. Yeah, we did some Super Friend records on that joint. Yeah. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. I still got a no couple doubt. of those, man. Yeah. yeah. So so listen, all right, so we're going to get into it, man. The, the, the podcast is called Hip Hop Confessions. I got you here. You know what I mean? Uh, so I need to know, Extra P, Yeah. what is your hip hop or one of your hip hop confessions? Man, all right, so it was maybe like nine one, nine two, nine nine ninety, early, early 90s. nineties. Uh I was in wow, unique studios again. I was working with G Rap. And uh I think we were actually working on some Shantae stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh like he was writing, I was making the beats. It was cool. So at the same time. Naughty by Nature was in the studio and they were recording their first album. Oh yeah. Yeah. So they, they was hot then. That, that was the OPP. No, album. this is before. This, this is before. before. Yeah, okay. this is before. Okay. This is what I'm getting to. All right. Um, so this is before they this is they're working on that album now. Like when I see them in unique. And um, I'm shooting pool with G Rap and we, you know, just shooting the shit. And um Vinny came in the room. It was either Vinny or KG. Um, it, it actually might have been KG came in the room. He was like, yo, LP, man, yo, uh, you know, like, appreciate you, man. Like, I've been hearing the joints you've been putting together, man. Like, yo, you know, we working on some shit, man. Like, you know, this the name of our group. Like, this, that kind of thing. You know, they right. was up and coming kind of like, you know. Right. He was like, yo, we would love to have a joint for, from you for this, for this project. And I was like, all right, you know, nah, that definitely, you know, like you, you kind of, but the way it was coming off, it was, I don't know, it, it, it wasn't like, yo, we, so a couple of months later, like that might have been, I don't know, maybe six months later, I'm in Cali and I'm, I'm sitting there, I don't know, I think it was Ice T's Club or something, yeah, something like the Century Club or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 something like that, right? Ice Cube was there, everybody was there, so we we chilling. That was like main source, like first time in Cali or something like that. Mm-hmm. So we there, and then um, it was it was nah, it was yeah, it was Vinny, it was Vinny, either KG or Vinny, but they came up, it was like, yo, here, take this shirt, like, yo, man, we 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 still got love for you, like, yo, we we love your art, you know that that kind of stuff, and it was a uh, you down with OPP shirt. Okay. It was like, yo, we performing now too. Like, you know, we we getting ready to perform too and shit. Like, and that was the beginning of OPP. And then I seen how that shit took off. And then I was like, damn, that's <laughs> homie from the studio that rolled through. Wow. And I said, yo, give us some production. And I was like, damn. Oh shit. And they were still had love and everything. Like, yo, we love, you know, we like, yo, we, we yo, the beat. And then it's crazy because right after that, uh, Flavor Unit came back to me. They was like, yo, they got another artist. You, yo, whoever it is, like, yo, just just whoever it is, like, I'm going to work and shit. And it wound up being a patchy and shit. Word. Right. Oh, and man, I work God with Patch. Bless soul, man. Word, I work with Patch. But I, I man, to this day, I, I regret, like, not following through with, you know, cause, but actually, you know, I ain't hear nothing or nothing. It was just, he came up to me, you know, we were shooting pool or whatever and shit. Like if I had probably pursued it more and like just, yeah, but that's, that's one, you know, and I, Damn. to this day, I, with, with Tretch, man, I always, you know, we always, I saw him at the Apollo, like maybe like two weeks ago, we was all performing and shit. And, um, 
I always go back to that, man, because I'm like, damn, I bro. Missed, I missed that vote. Word. I could have like, been on damn, that first naughty album. Like, yeah, hell yeah. That, that shit would have been ill. Like, they, you know, because to this day, we all good. Like, you know, KG, that's, that's the homie. Like, he, and we was like the same vein of production, so I see how that shit would have worked. Right, but, yeah, I could know, definitely yeah, hit Tretch exactly. over, over extra PB. Yeah, hell yeah. So, you know, but yeah, that's one of them. That's that's Damn. one right there. Yeah, for sure. That's that's so <clears throat> wild to me, man. Yeah, like, yeah, for, yeah that's for, one. You know, because Nordy, like, shout Jersey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah. Nord, and it's crazy, like, it's crazy that, you know, like, I seen him in Cali and shit. He's like, yo, here, take a shirt. Like, yo... And I, I got the shirt on in the trial video. Like, I'm like, yo, I'm, you know, I'm a naughty fan, naughty by nature fan now. Like, for real, it was crazy. Because like, their, they, their rise was fast. Yo, it, like, that's what I'm saying. It was like it that was day. Because I did not know about the song. That day, he gave me the shirt. They performed. It was on. From there, every day after that day, I heard that song. Like, it was bananas. <laughs> It was it was out of nowhere. I was like, yo, that but big respect, man. They and they just like took it in, you know, all, all the way, man. They took that shit all yeah, the way. Yeah, nah, they sure. are they are still probably, taking it all the way. Yeah, yeah. nah, definitely, man. Legends. Yeah. Um, you know, I I told them one time, and it is probably like a little confession of mine. I remember telling them uh when they were they were down here for for like an old school concert. It was them, Salt and Pepper, somebody else. They was all here, Vinny. Tretch and KG, and um, I remember telling them the story of, I said, yo, man, the first time I saw y'all, I didn't even know, like, almost like you, I didn't know who y'all was. I went to a show, and it was before OPP, but I went to a show, and they, I can't remember who they was opening for, but they was opening for somebody else. Might have been brand newbie or something, you mm. know what I'm saying? Like, and we at this spot, called Ivory's. It was a club here in, in VA. And um college night, every Tuesday shit used to be slammed. Like shit like early like slam. And DJ Cool used to DJ it. And uh they they was like, yo, give it up for Naughty by Nature. And everybody like, who the fuck is like who? Like whatever. Like so Tretch is KG is on stage. Vinny is on stage already. Tretch walks on stage. I've never seen no shit like this in my life. I never, to this day, I've never seen nothing like this. This nigga walks on stage. He had a, I remember he had a a, a chain a around chain. his neck. A chain, yeah, 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 the, the, the chain. The chain, the, yeah, not, yeah, yeah. The, not, a, not a New York parent. Padlock this chain, This nigga had yeah. a padlock like, chain yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with a fucking machete in his hand. He had a machete in one hand and a microphone in the other. Carhartt vest, 40 below Tim's, and he just stood there. The nigga ain't say shit. He just <laughs> stood there. And you know how, you know, if somebody on stage, it's like this, that weird interaction where you're waiting for the music to start or you're waiting for somebody to say something, but it's just quiet. So you can hear people talking amongst themselves, but ain't nothing coming from the speakers. No, nobody said nothing or nothing. He's just standing there, like with a stone cold look on his face. And the nigga just stays there. Until the crowd just, you start to hear it get quiet. Like people like, yo, what's up? Like, yo, like, yo, what, what's happening? Who is? And it just started getting quieter and quieter. And so nobody's saying nothing. And this nigga just start doing an acapella. Speed rap, bars. Like, da 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 And I'm catching it. I'm like, I'm like, who is this nigga? Like, the nigga gets to the end of the verse. And he said something, 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 something to class off. And he turned around and he said, my pants always sad because I wrapped my ass off. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I was like, man. Yo. Oh, man. <laughs> From that day. Yeah. I was a fan. Yeah, yeah. Nah, Tretch I was like, yo, bro. Big up Naughty, definitely, man. Yeah, Those and I, is, I told yeah. him about it. And I said, um, I said you had the uh you had the machete. And he said, Yeah, Alibaba. We used to call the <laughs> they used to call the machete Alibaba. <laughs> and I think Mook or somebody used to be responsible for for carrying it around on tour. <laughs> and I'm like, and I think about how crazy the 90s was. I was just like, I said, bro, you you realize you walked into a college nightclub with a machete? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, skills, Yo. that won't nothing. Yeah. Bringing the theatrics. 
Yeah, man, it it, it was yeah. it was a, a hip hop moment for me that I'll never forget. And those yeah. last two bars, my pants always sad because I rap my yeah. ass off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. And I was just like, and Kanye, Kanye said the line like way later, but yeah. I was like, I like nigga, Trek <laughs> said that in, in 90, uh, yeah, like back 89. Then. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, wow, wild memory of them them guys, right. man. Right. It's such a dope group, man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and damn, that's crazy. You could have been on the first Naughty album. Yeah, for sure. Nah, because they were showing love like that. You know, yo, the, that, the Flavor Unit crew had mad love, definitely. Wow. Yeah, and it was a lot of people in that, uh, I think, because I think at one time they was, um, they had the Rotten Rascals. Yeah. I remember. The Rotten they was Rascals. Managed, I think they was managing Black Sheep. Yeah. Of course, you had Queen Latifah. Yeah. Apache. You know what I'm saying? I remember I remember uh I remember when I found out that Q tip had produced the gangster bitch. I was like Yeah. I was like, this shit is crazy. Yeah. And then I and then you know that 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 you know Apache had done some writing for La, you know what yeah. I'm saying, back in the day. So some some of those records I, I love uh, just another day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's crazy, man. That's that's super wild that that you had that opportunity and and just yeah. like yeah. <laughs> And caught him in Cali too. I remember that. Yeah, spot. yeah, 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 yeah. In Cali, world, they was like, "Yo, here, take this shirt, mommy." Uh, <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Yo, take this crazy. shirt, homie. Word, word up, word up. So, 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 what you, what you been working on now, man? You got anything in the in the works now? I, I, I remember it was an artist that uh, that hopped on stage with you in Charlotte. Yeah, and, uh, you my say man, y'all got Roy something coming out. Yeah, Roy Waters. We got this joint called Down South Up Top. It's kind of nah, tough, like yeah. That. It's it's kind of t- it's kind of tough, man. We got man, mad people on there. We got Fame, MOP, Ghostface, yo, mad people on that joint. And, and it's um, it's just really like, cause he has a he has a in, like deep, heavy Southern accent, but mm-hmm. you you can really like like he got skills. Right. So he came up, he came up. He was like, yo, you know, he 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 had, did a lot of trap. Did, you know different things in, in the past, and like he, like you, he came to the mecca. Like he was like, "Yo, I'm gonna just go to the mecca real quick and right. um, test my skills there." So we got some bangers, though, man. We got definitely got some bangers, man. Roll wattage, um, down south, up top, and I, I just recently released a, a, a instrumental project called Beats Volume Three. That's kind of nice, right there. It's just them zone out, like. You know, mm-hmm. people who really rock with P, you know, like them type of joints, man. Like just 10 joints. So, you know, that's a cool thing. And just all type of production, man. Like I, I stayed on it. Like, man, you know, we, we had that Locks joint out there a little while ago. Yeah. You know, I had joint with uh, Al Scratch a little while ago. Like just all them little random productions, you know, the, of, of the community. Like mm-hmm. the ones who I have mad respect for. Like I, I always rock with the, with the real hip hoppers. Dope, so, man. Yeah, yeah always. Dope. So, so when you were you, when you was in Charlotte, was you down there working on that, or you just happened to be down? Yeah, there? absolutely. Nah, we was down there. Um, we was in Charleston. We had dipped down to Charleston first, and was um taking care of some mixes and some videos, and then boom, just shot up, did that little two hours up to Charlotte real quick, you know, and, dope, and checked man. out the the Gene Brown event. Uh, that's it was hot in there too, man. It was Yo, crazy it, in it there. It felt like New York in there. <laughs> no, that was the crazy part. Crazy. It felt like a New York summer in there. It, like won't go a- AC. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's absolutely. just cats in there with the onion face listening to beats. Crazy. Yeah. It was just good to be around that type of energy. I haven't Yo, been around that type in that of energy region, in a while. In that region. That's there. what I kept saying. Yeah. yeah that's what I, I've been like. Yo, man, there's, because you, yeah, you do, you have it, but it's a different, it's different. It's different when you in that region, cause that's like, you know, that that funk soul, like, you know, New York, all right, cool, but like the South is where yeah. a lot of that was coming from. So to be right. like in the natural habitat, like like, yo, <laughs> this is where that funk and soul was coming from. Word, all them albums and stuff. Yeah. So Yeah, man. Nah, yeah. It, was, it was like I said, it was dope. I, I had a good time that night. And it, it, we made we had a good memorable moment. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And, um, that that you know we just this is just gonna be in our it's gonna be in our repertoire forever. Absolutely, you know what I'm saying so. Yeah, man. Well, listen, man. I don't want to hold you, man. I appreciate you pulling up to the pod. Absolutely, man. I appreciate I, I, it. I've been wanting to get you on here for a minute, man. And uh, after I saw you in Charlotte, it just it just yeah. made sense. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, 
and and um, it was crazy. I had already hit you before that, and then I ran yeah. into you and show. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it, yeah. It was super Meant wild, to be. man. So, yeah. so, so, listen, man. You know, let the people know where they can get you at. What what your socials is? You know, what I'm saying how they can follow you. You yeah. know, what I'm saying because I mean, I, I I would be remiss to say, man. You you know you you wanted to. The greatest hip hop producers of all time. Bro. Oh man, like, you know appreciate it, it's man. A, it's an honor and a pleasure to know you. So appreciate you know, let them know it, where they can follow the movement at. Word up, my man Skills. Yo, um, I, I I'm mostly on at XP Large Pro on Instagram because I'll be doing my little DJ uh videos real quick, just showing people the essence of what hip hop was, was just taking them two records and just flipping the ill part. But I'm like updating it, keeping it updated. So XP Large Pro on Instagram. That's 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 really where I'm at. And just, you know, I'll be out there outside. I'll be outside, you know. <laughs> or outside. Outside with it. Well, listen, man, I appreciate you pulling up, man. Love you, bro. All Word up. I love you know, too, brother. You know Word the up. It's always here, man. Word up. And, uh, I wish you much success in everything. Slick you brother do. skills. With you the, already yeah, know. That's, a, that's a slick <laughs> brother right there. Skills. <laughs> Word up. Straight All right, y'all. We up out right. of here. This has been Hip Hop Confessions. Because everybody got one. Here's a little story that must be told. And it goes a little something like this. this, this, this.